My name is Nina Lanza and I'm a staff scientist at Los Alamos National Laboratory and I work on the ChemCam instrument on the Curiosity rover. We were in an area of Gale Crater and we decided to pull up to an outcrop uh, just to see what was around and part of the outcrop actually had these weird little fins sticking out of it so we figured you know why don't we shoot one of these with ChemCam and see what it's made out of. When we looked at the data that we got back you know, we realized these had to be manganese oxides um, because the abundance of manganese was so high. Manganese oxides are a family of minerals that only really form in very specific environments. We were so excited to find these high manganese concentrations because this isn't something we ever expected to see on Mars. So manganese oxides require two things to form. You need a lot of liquid water and you need a lot of oxygen or some other oxidant. When you look at the terrestrial geological record, we actually don't see manganese oxides until after the rise of photosynthesis. So after we got oxygen in our atmosphere. Even though Mars, you know, we know there was water there, we never thought there was a lot of oxygen. So when we saw these manganese oxides, we had to ask ourselves the question, was there a lot of oxygen in the atmosphere on Mars in the past? So as you can see, we have ChemCam here on the top, but instead of being attached to a rover body, it is attached to a T-Rex. And it is shooting, of course, lasers out of it because seriously, like everything is made cooler with lasers and dinosaurs.